This is what I call the $500,000 social media strategy because it has made me a bit over than that. So it's really simple. And you might say it's too simple, Jose. And let me tell you, every time I hear people saying it cannot be that simple it's because they never done it. But once you do it, you'll notice that you don't have to overcomplicate this process. So let me show you my formula, my strategy to make money online, to grow my reputation, to get clients, to get paid, to increase my, my income, to be able to live my, a beautiful life here in Dominican Republic with my family. This is where the $500,000 social media strategy comes in. Big name, simple system. Twitter, that's my headquarters. Why? Because I love writing and writing is scalable. It's easier too. You can take a piece of writing, you can post it anywhere. You can take a piece of writing, you can read it out loud. Now you have a video. That's why I prefer writing over everything. And why Twitter? Because Twitter is like a mind hive. It's a place where so many different consciousness come together. You can connect with people who are much more richer than you and treat them as your peer. You cannot do that well with other platforms due to the nature of those platforms. So what I do on Twitter is I post, I have my daily five, five tweets a day, always. And what I do is I use Hype Fury for that because, because Hype Fury lets me schedule everything. So if you don't have Hype Fury, Here's my go to rosa.do and join today. Okay. Hype Fury is this simple app that lets you schedule tweets and also schedule them on LinkedIn. One post can be posted on LinkedIn and here and also on Instagram, but I don't use this for Instagram. You can post it on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Five tweets a day. That's all. Throughout the day, I go to the phone and I post some stuff. Cool. Those, those are my daily fives. Once a week or twice, I post a short thread and it's just a series of tweets. And now I'm trying out something that I call the Saturday roundups, which is creating a short thread of the things that I enjoyed throughout the week. So shorts are my daily reels and TikToks. One post a day, YouTube. This is still experimental because YouTube is hard. On Mondays, I'll be posting a short tutorial and on Thursday, how I do it. The Mondays will be about the best practice practices about simplifying the process for you. Thursdays is how literally I do it. It could be best practices. It could not be best practices. It's just how I do it. LinkedIn is much simpler. I just repurpose my emails, my tweets, and my threads. That's why I start everything on Twitter. Now, the mission of the $500,000 social media strategy is to drive traffic to the newsletter. Driving traffic is getting clicks. I want people to click um, on my newsletter. And here's my strategy for my newsletter. I have an email automation. It is well, a welcome sequence. You get five emails. It's all automated. I suggest you open an account, go to rosa.do.convertkit and open an account for ConvertKit. This is ConvertKit, okay? This is one of my clients' ConvertKit accounts that we're using to sell her coaching and her stuff. That's why you only see all the subscribers. I have almost 13,000. So um, why newsletter? Because you have two types of audiences, rented audiences and the audience that you own. The rented audience lives here, social media. You can be banned at any time. The audience that you own lives in the newsletter because you have access to their emails. And even if you get banned from the email marketing software, doesn't matter because you can always download a backup, okay? The email automation consists of a welcome sequence, a upsells, and card abandonment. In my emails, I send three emails a week. Mondays to show something. Wednesdays for stories. And Fridays to recap the things that I enjoyed throughout the week and the things that I posted across other social media. And once every month or two, I'll be promoting a course or whatever. Of course, in these emails, I'm also promoting my other services and every, everything else. How? I'll show you right now. At the end of the email, you can see I have this little thing here. Here's how I can help you. Click any of these things. Let's go back to the whiteboard. So how do I make all of this work? Because it looks like a lot of work. It's actually not because I've developed a, the most straightforward repurposing strategy in the world. Not even kidding. I call it hyper repurpose system where makes everything happen for me. Let me show you right now. Twitter is the starting point of everything because Twitter lets me write my tweets and lets me write threads and the tweets. What happened with the tweets? They become topics for my emails. They become tweet shots. And this is a tweet shot. Let me scroll up. It's just a screenshot of a tweet. And I post that on Instagram. And this is actually automated. There's an app I use called Picasso.me. You don't need that because Hype Fury actually does this for you. And they also use Picasso, but I'm stupid. So what I do is I, I create an automation. When I retweet my tweet and I like it, it's automatically sent to this app, Social B. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you my system, okay? Social B adds the tweet shot here to this category. But with Hype Fury, it's just literally one click. Let me show you. You connect Hype Fury to Instagram and it will automatically post that, a tweet shot in your feed, all automatically. You click here, 
You click there and it will automatically share it to Instagram. No questions asked. The thing is that I don't like doing that because I would rather post my best performing tweets on Instagram and that's it. So that's why I have this extra layer of complexity, but you don't need to do that. Okay, let's zoom out. Tweets also becomes video shorts. The short is this short 20, 30, 60 second long video. You see it here. I post these on Instagram and on TikTok. It's just literally me reading the freaking tweet. That's all there is to it. Then threads. The threads, since are a little bit more complicated, they become carousels. A carousel is this. Let me show you on Instagram. This is a carousel. It's just a series of slides. What else? They also become captions. Sometimes let's say I post a tweet shot or a, a short and I want to expand upon this. Well, they also become captions and the caption is this. And as you can see, this can become a tweet too. The simplest way to make money online with Twitter is automating it. How? Do this. That's a tweet. That's why everything starts in Twitter in my system. Threads and tweets, they also become posts or micro posts on LinkedIn and they're posted automatically. And finally, the threads, they also become topics for my YouTube videos. This is experimental for me yet because YouTube is stupid hard, man. It's so hard. And of course, all of this comes to the emails or from the emails, they also become all of these little things. So it's not that I create a lot of content, it's that the content that I already have becomes content for other platforms. And it all starts with Twitter. That's why I would encourage each of you to double down on Twitter, not for the engagement. Forget about the engagement. Is the possibilities of repurposing content. You post a tweet, it gets, let's say you average five likes per tweet, but that tweet got 20 likes. Oh, that's something people want more from. You validated that idea. People want more. So create more content about that specific idea and then turn that into emails or into products or into free stuff. That is the $500,000 social media strategy. The king is Twitter because of how well ingrained Twitter is in regards to the psyche of the global economy. Now, Twitter has fewer users than other social media platforms. That's the unfortunate reality, but we have smarter people on Twitter, way smarter people than on other social media accounts. And the other social media, they have like really smart people, like really. But on Twitter, we have the prolific writers, the prolific business people talking between each other, connecting with each other. And you can be part of that conversation by quote tweeting them, by replying to their tweets, by curating their content and create some kind of recap of the week and posting that on Twitter and learn from them. So th this is my strategy. And I hope that you found a lot of clarity. And if you feel overwhelmed with this strategy, let me tell you, the trick is in the daily five, because from these daily five tweets, it's where everything trickles down from it. Everything, as you saw in the big diagram.